how to make a flying airplane from a plastic bottle. So the first thing we need to do is cut the top off. Now what you need to do is cut as close as you can to the lid. So use a knife or a pair of scissors to do this. Try to make it as even as possible. The reason for this is the cap will need to fit on the top of the bottle. Now cut the bottom end of the bottle off. You may want to start it with a knife. Then move over to a pair of scissors. This is essentially will be the fuselage of the plane. Next, we need to make some wings. Let's get a piece of cardboard. Measure out. Just have them taper back a bit. So this is the wing completely cut out. Next, we'll need to cut out holes in either side of this bottle and feed the wing through. So that's the slots cut out. Let's have a quick test fit. There we go. So that seems to work. Next, we're going to have to make a hole in the lid. So either get a drill and drill it through, or maybe punch it through with a nail. Next, we'll need to glue a DC motor into the cap. So get a glue gun, put some beads around the edges, like so, stick the motor in, just make sure the motor still turns, which it does, that harden. So next we'll need to start wiring up the motor, so this is a connector to a battery, a 9 volt battery, and a switch. So the connector for the battery is here. So now we just need to connect up the motor and you can see how it goes to the switch here. So here it's all wired up. So let's just test it just to make sure it works. Hook up your 9 volt battery. So that works. So this is the top of the airplane where the wings are. So we're going to have to cut a little hole at the bottom here for this switch. Just do a quick test fit to see where that's going to lay. So at the very bottom, we're going to need to cut a little hole here for that switch inside. Now we'll need to glue the motor in place to the front of the airplane. So again with a glue gun. So make sure you glue it all the way around. You also may want to glue the switch into place. A little dab around the edges. Next thing we need to make is a propeller. So this is being made from a plastic melt bottle, a wooden skewer, and the ink bit of a pen. And it's been glued at a slight angle to give it some thrust. Or 
what we can do is just sketch two propellers and then cut them out. So this is what they now look like. Now we're going to stick them together. You could use a toothpick or a skewer, anything you got to hand. Now for the other side. And set this at a slight angle. As so. Now I need this end bit off of a pen or any plastic tubing. And we're just going to glue it away from the propeller. And this is going to be our connector. So right in the middle. Next, cut a length of fishing wire or string. This will help support the airplane in the air. So what we're going to do is take this fishing wire and feed it through the two grooves we cut for the wing, like so. While holding the fishing wire in place, feed back the wing. To ensure this wire and the wing stay in place, you can glue it. Tops of the ends here, the wire. And you can also glue the wing in place, as so. So that's what it looks like, all glued, and the wire is glued in place. Next, cut a back wing slightly smaller, and what we need to do is cut little notches in the back of the bottle, and we'll slide this back wing in. Plus the two notches out the back. I've also got a nail and poked a hole through the top here so we can put another string through. So get the back wing, slide into place, and then glue. Next, cut a little notch at the top here. We can add in another wing for added realism. So I've just tied all the fishing wire to a bracket here. Now you can lift off the plane. Now we can connect the propeller to the motor, just pushes on. One last test that everything works, 